Hi, I'm Brooke, and I would like to introduce you to Mbox Mail. If you're an iPhone or iPod Touch user, you can take your Hotmail with you wherever you go. Now I would like to briefly demonstrate its functionality. Once Inbox Mail has been downloaded from App Store, setting up your email account is just a few taps away. To get started, simply enter your Hotmail email address, password, and click the Sync button. Now let me walk you through the initial experience. Launch Inbox Mail just like you launch any other application on the iPhone. Because this is the first time the application has been run, you are prompted to enter your email address and password. This is a one-time process. Pressing the Add key, you will be prompted for which domain your email address belongs to. This account belongs to Hotmail, so I will select it. Then enter your password. Once you have entered the information, you simply click the Sync Mail button. You will notice you are notified that the first sync may take some time. This notification only happens the first time you synchronize your mailbox. This is because email accounts may contain a large number of emails that must be analyzed. The initial sync time will vary based on the type of network connection the phone has. We recommend that you use Wi-Fi for the first sync. After your mailbox has been synchronized the first time, future access will be very fast. This mail account is small, so you can see the synchronization happens very quickly. One of the most exciting features of Inbox Mail is that your Windows Live folders are available to you on your iPhone. Here you can see I have my standard system folders, Inbox, Junk, Sent, and Deleted. You will also notice that my custom folders are available. To see the messages in a folder, simply touch the folder you want to view. Here, we enter the Inbox. To leave this folder, just select the Back button. Inbox Mail makes it easy to keep in sync with the world around you by making it easy to read your Hotmail emails on the iPhone. With just a flick of your finger, you can browse through your folders and messages. Let's first take a look at an account on the Hotmail webpage. You will notice this account has several folders with unread emails. Let's have a look at the inbox. There are four messages that are marked unread. Now let's see how that looks in Inbox Mail on the iPhone. The icon shows a badge that indicates there are four unread emails in the inbox. On a side note, the current version of Inbox Mail does not support push email delivery. We are looking forward to adding that functionality in a future release. To view an email, simply touch the one you want to view. You can move between messages with the up and down arrow buttons. If you want to read an email in wide format, just rotate your iPhone. You can use pinch gestures to zoom in and out of a message. Use the handy double tap gesture to zoom into a section of an email quickly. Email status is synchronized with the server, so the state of the account on the device is in sync with the state on the server. Here you will see all messages are read. Now let's have a look at the Hotmail webpage. When I refresh the inbox on the webpage, you see the email flags change to red just like on the device. If I mark a message on red on the device, it will also be marked on red on the Hotmail webpage. It is simple to compose an email in Inbox Mail. In the lower right hand corner of the screen, there is a Compose button. When you select that button, a Compose view is presented. To address a message, simply start typing the name of the contact. The addresses from the Hotmail account and the local address book are searched as you type. After you have typed a couple of letters, you can select the address for the contact you want to send the message to. Enter a subject for the message. You see spelling is corrected automatically. To start composing a message, just tap in the body of the message. Tap Done when you're finished. To send the email, just press the Send button. In this case, we're going to choose Cancel and save the message for later. When we are ready to send the message, just go to the Local Drafts folder and select the message. Inbox Mail provides several settings that allow you to customize the application for the way you like to work. Inbox settings are found in the standard iPhone settings screen. Select Settings, 
then select Inbox Mail at the bottom of the list. The Show option is the number of recent messages to show in any of your folders. The default is 25. You can change this to 50, 75, 100, or 200. I personally like to set mine to 100 messages, so I can quickly scan through my mail. The Signature option allows you to enter text that will be sent at the bottom of every email sent from Inbox Mail. You might enter your name here. If the Ask Before Deleting option is on, then you will be prompted when deleting a message from the Message Detail view. If the Always Blind Carbon Copy Myself option is on, then messages you send from Inbox Mail will also be sent to your Hotmail address automatically. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Inbox Mail for iPhone. Please visit App Store to start using Inbox Mail today.